a lot of the OEMs were pushing for cleaner fluids in their components, particularly in the hydraulic systems and transmissions. It's particles that you can't see with the naked eye or feel in your hand that actually cause problems in the equipment because it gets in between those tolerances within the palm, causes wear and debris there. You're looking at things that are four micron in size. Most I hair, most I can see down to about 40 microns. But we're filtering that contamination out and just leaving a drum open or a pail open or leaving the lid off, the cover off your reservoir and your piece of equipment somewhere, you end up ingesting a lot of dirt and contamination, airborne dust and dirt and contamination that causes wear in your components. You'll actually get a, like a four times life improvement on a hydraulic component tree just by cleaning up the oil and it's the same oil. And we have a broad breadth of different tests menus for different types of applications. You're not gonna necessarily do particle count analysis on everything, but in hydraulics, you're looking at viscosity of the oil, you're looking for oxidation or breakdown of the oil, the acid number, you're looking for contamination, whether it's particulate or water contamination. So those are some of the critical things in the hydraulics. And you're looking at other things when you're in the engine oil itself. So we do offer that type of analysis and we recommend certain intervals. Any fleet manager knows there are people that are hard on equipment, just the operators hard on the equipment. It's a certain piece of equipment cannot necessarily go the same length of time. So we like to optimize the drain interval for the type of operation, type of equipment and exposure to the environment that the system's running in. My name is Edgar Hansen. I fish commercial crab in Alaska. Probably seen it on Deadliest Catch on Discovery Channel. Here's the, here's the thing, we're just trying to fill the boat, we're trying to catch our quota. So I mean we could be out there typically for three months. Yeah, we go to port every week and a half or two weeks, but if I'm over my schedule on, on oil changes and maintenance, I know that I can go a little farther and really not sweat it. So, and that's been proven time and time again. My engines, I mean the recommended oil changes are 500 hours on the big one and 250 on the little one. I'm going 150 extra hours on the big one. That's over 120 gallons. So, I mean, you want to talk about just, I mean, just saving that much money just by using the right product for the right application is, is huge. Well, if you watch the show, we're, we're pretty tough on it. I mean, it's a lot of stop and go. I mean, it's not highway driving, but, but your trucks aren't slamming into a 40 foot wave either. So. But it's making the job easier, it's making it safer. You know, it's making us go a little farther. We're saving money. After hooking up with Chevron, lear learning that there's actually oil analysis, and they can tell me if I can go a little farther, or if my engine's wearing down with different metals in the oil and in the sample. It's been great, man. There's, there's way more to it than I thought, but having a team like this on your side, I mean, you can't lose.